What is up guys, my name is Ignis, welcome back to the channel. We are on the path to finding the best dividend paying stocks from the industrial sector. This week we already looked through the aerospace and defense names and have picked Lockheed Martin there. I will leave a link for that comparison in the description below. But today we are going into another industry from the sector, which is specialty industrial machinery. So we'll pick three largest names from the industry and make a dividend comparison between those picks. So the largest one and the first pick for the comparison is Honeywell, ticker symbol HON. With the recent price surge, the stock is only down for 3.06% on the year to date. And if we zoom out to the last 5 years, they showed a decent performance with the stock going higher for 44.44%. This one will be the largest out of the three with a market cap of 134 billion US dollars. And the stock is now trading at a dividend yield of 2.06%. Now the second pick is another well-known name, 3M, ticker symbol MMM. Unfortunately the stock hasn't been performing, it is down for 30.88% on the year to date. And zooming to the last 5 years it has even got worse, where the stock went lower for 47.09%. Now this means that a huge part of the market cap has been lost, and the company is now worth 68 billion US dollars. But with the stock going lower the dividend yield did go up, and we now have it way up there at 4.85%. So these were today's two first picks, but there is one more name I want to put against them. And that is Illinois Toolworks, ticker symbol ITW. On the year to date the stock is down for 13.93%, but zooming out to 5 years we get a different story, where the stock has been moving higher for 33.23%. Company's market cap is now similar to 3M's at 64 billion US dollars, and it is trading at a dividend yield of 2.5%. So these are the three names for today's dividend comparison, and to make it happen, let's go to Google Sheets. So in order to make this dividend comparison happen, we'll use five different metrics: dividend yield, dividend payout ratio, years of consecutive dividend increases, five-year compound annual dividend growth rate and the ratio between the current dividend yield and its 5 year average. We'll check the number under each metric for all 3 stocks and then compare them in between. The name with the best metric will get a point, then we'll sum the points up and the stock with the most points will be considered the winner of this dividend comparison. I hope that the rules were clear and early thumbs up would be very much appreciated and with that out of the way, let's start. So the first metric that we are comparing is the dividend yield. It is calculated by taking the annual dividend per share and dividing it by the share price. Honeywell is currently paying an annual dividend of $4.12, so at a price of $200.47 per share, we here have a dividend yield of 2.06%. Now let's take 3M. Their annual dividend is $5.96, so at a price of $122.86, we have a dividend yield of 4.85%. And lastly, Illinois Toolworks. Their dividend is at $5.24, so at a price of $209.57, we have a dividend yield of 2.5%. The second metric is the dividend payout ratio. Percentage here shows what part of company's earnings are being used to pay dividends. So with Honeywell, their dividend payout ratio is now at 44.38%, meaning that they are using just over two-fifths of their earnings to pay dividends. Now 3M and they are in a bit worse position, where they have the payout ratio at 56.77%, so a bit more than half of their earnings are being used for dividends, and lastly ITW with 56.48%, so similar to 3M, the dividends take up just over half of their earnings. Metric number 3 is the years of consecutive dividend increases. So for how many years the company has been consistently increasing dividends? In Honeywell's case, they have been increasing dividends for the last 11 years. Now 3M and it seems they are in a different league, where they have been increasing dividends consistently for the last 64 years. And then Illinois Toolworks is quite close to 3M, with 58 years of consecutive dividend increases. Now for the next part, we'll be taking a look into the compound annual dividend growth rate. Here we'll take the 5 year average, including the next year's estimate. So in Honeywell's case, the 5-year dividend growth rate is at 6.16%. Switching to 3M, and their compound annual growth rate is at 1.84%. And then it seems that ITW has the best one, with a 5-year dividend growth rate at 8.04%. 
Now for the last part we'll be comparing the current dividend yield and its 5 year average. And for that we'll use my dividend investing watchlist on Google Sheets. So we are in the tab for Honeywell. And this is here its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years. Out of this information we calculate that on average in 5 years the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 2.45%. So the best part to get into the stock was back in 2018, with a dividend yield of 5.26%, more than double than average higher for 114.9%, and worst yield was in 2019, at 1.41%, under average for 42.39%. But if we are getting into the stock right now at a dividend yield of 2.01%, we are still quite there under the 5 year average, minus 17.88%. So we have compared the percentages, and this is here the number that we will be comparing. Now let's take 3M. We have its dividend yield history for each quarter of the last 5 years, and on average the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 3.26%. So the worst time to get in was back in 2017, at a dividend yield of 2.02%, under average for 38.1%, but since the stock hasn't been going anywhere in the last 5 years, we are now at a dividend yield of 4.74%, which is the highest it has been of the last 5 years, over average for 45.25%. And lastly we have Illinois Toolworks, here it's its dividend yield history of the last 5 years, and on average the stock was trading at a dividend yield of 2.34%. So the worst time to get in was back in 2017 at 1.7%, under the 5 year average for 27.31%, and the best yield was in the beginning of 2020 at 2.93%, over average for 25.29%. But if we would be getting into the stock right now at a dividend yield of 2.46%, that is still a bit over average, plus 5.19%. So we have the numbers for our comparison, now if you would be interested in doing a similar analysis on another dividend paying stock yourself, you are able to access this watchlist by following the second link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add a ticker symbol in a comment below, and I'll consider adding that into the watchlist myself. Maybe you could share some interesting opportunities available in the market that I am still missing. So we have checked for all 5 metrics and the numbers are in. Now we can start assigning points. First point goes to 3M with the highest dividend yield at 4.85%, a point to Honeywell with the lowest dividend payout ratio with 4 4.38%, 3M gets a point with 64 years of consecutive dividend increases, a point to Illinois Toolworks with the highest dividend growth rate at 8.04%, and the last point goes to 3M, where its dividend yield is 45.25% higher than its 5 year average. So now that the points are in, we can calculate results. Honeywell got 1 point, 3M3 and Illinois Toolworks 1. This means that with 3 points, 3M is considered the winner of this dividend comparison. So 3M is currently the pick from the specialty machinery industry, and I do already have it in my portfolio. Started the position last year with 1.8 of a share, at an average buying price of $155.59. Unfortunately, since the stock hasn't been performing this year, the position is now down for $58.90, losing 21.03%. 3M now takes 3.42% of my portfolio, and that is 28.18% of exposure in the industrial sector. And though currently the stock is trading at a dividend yield of 4.74%, my yield on cost is unfortunately a percent lower, 3.83%. But still, it is one of the largest dividend contributors with $10.73 on an annual basis. So I will be keeping 3M in, and possibly even adding into the position if needed. So what do you think, are you holding 3M right now? Share your position on it in a comment below. Also don't forget to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. Last week I've looked into several other companies, so if you are interested in any of these then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing y'all in the next one.